I've never, I've never had a problem finding inspiration here in, in the mountains, whether it's the landscape or the people. You know, I think in a lot of ways life has been kind of hard in Appalachia. It can develop a person's character going through hardships. And uh, so a lot of my portraits, I think, focus on people who, whose faces maybe reflect the struggles that they've had in their lives. We moved, we lived next door, and we moved here over 30 years ago. And um, I needed a place to work. At the time, this house was, was being lived in by a family. They'd been here quite a while. And then they moved out, another family moved in, stayed for a few months, and they moved out. And a, a single mother with a couple of kids moved in here, and she only stayed for a few months. And so when she moved out, we approached the landlord, uh, who owns both places, about renting this as a, a gallery and a studio because I needed a larger space. I was working in a very small, like nine by 10, 12 foot room over in the, where we live and it's pretty cramped. And so I think by that time the landlord was tired of messing with renters and uh, we'd been here about a year by that time and uh, he decided to rent it to us as as a workspace, and so we started to convert it into a gallery and studio. Initially, I used one of the rooms here as my painting studio, uh, but it's uh, it's an old house. It doesn't have insulation, so it's pretty cold in the winter, and I found it very difficult to work here. So uh, that's when my wife suggested, uh, my wife Charmin, suggested that I build a separate studio, which I did with some help. And, uh, and we can visit back in the, take a look at the studio later if you'd like to. But uh, it's been really great having a separate studio because it's well insulated and it's very warm and cozy and it's not a big space, but certainly adequate for me. Essentially owning a small business and doing all the things that, that are required, you know, we do the, the marketing and, and the maintenance and um, promotion and all of those things that you know, ordering supplies, and it's just the two of us essentially running a small business and, and all that entails. The style that I do is certainly realism, and, and some people would refer to it as photorealism. Uh, and I understand that because my paintings are very detailed and, and do, a lot of people have said they look like photographs. I always take that as a compliment, but, because I know that's how they mean it, but uh, I don't really like the term photorealism because a true photorealist painter simply takes a photograph and tries to reproduce every single detail in the photograph. I use photographs for references, but a lot of times we'll make changes in, in the painting that, that aren't there in the photograph. I'll put things in or leave things out or change things around as I see fit, you know, make things different colors or, uh, like in this painting here, I incorporated the figure into that, that painting that, you know, he wasn't actually there. I, I changed the background, left some things out of the background, changed the the atmosphere, it made it more of a misty or foggy effect. Um, so, you know, I, I do use photographs, but it's not my intent to simply uh, copy the photograph. One of the most, a couple of the most interesting commissions I've ever had, though, were uh, a couple of stone mosaics that I did. Uh, one for Jim Webb up at uh, his place on top of Pine Mountain. Jim was very much into flamingos, and he has a little campground up on top of Pine Mountain. And uh, it used to be a resort. There's a, a str structure there that was a, a bathhouse for the. There's a little lake up there, and there was a expanse of a wall that was maybe 10 feet or eight feet high by about 20 feet long. 
and he was interested in having a mural done on it. Well, I, I talked to him, and we decided instead of a mural that I would do a mosaic of a flamingo, but I would do it instead of using tile, I would use pieces of stone, just broken stone, different colors. and So that was a pretty interesting project that really came out well. Well, uh, I think the struggles are, are uh, multifaceted, actually. There's the, the financial struggle. Like I said, it's not easy to, to make a living as an artist, and it's very, uh, there, there's no such thing as financial, financial security for an artist. You know, you, you may have a really good year and, and bring in a lot of money, and then the next year, or even month to month, you know, uh, our income has just fluctuated wildly in, in the course of a single year. Uh, there may be months where we bring in three or four hundred dollars, and the next month we might bring in ten thousand dollars. I mean, it's just there's there's no financial security to start with, so that that's that's a stressful situation, you know, especially when you're you know raising a family and trying to keep your bills paid. So there's that, but um, you know, I think uh, most artists, being uh, sensitive people tend to uh, struggle with depression, and I know I have. I do uh, a good bit. And it almost seems to come with the territory, you know, that, that artists tend to, to lean towards uh, yeah, depression and, and emotional anxiety and, and that sort of thing, and I've, I've struggled with that. It certainly helps to um, to work. Um, I have a quote by Van Gogh in there that uh, about how much sadness there is and how much that we can't become melancholy. That the the thing is to 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 work um, essentially. So I find that just to to work at my art is is one of the ways that uh, helps with the depression and. I, I'm pleased with with the work that I've done over a period of, you know, well, I've been doing this since I was 27 as a vocation. I've been doing it longer than that, but I've been doing it as, as a full-time vocation since I was 27. That's almost 40 years now, so I, I'm, I'm pleased with the work that I've done, the body of work. I still have a lot of things I want to do. Hope I have a good bit of time left to do that. But um, I mean, it's it's not been easy, you know. It's it's not easy to make a living as an artist anywhere, but I, I think especially here in the mountains with the economy being like it is. So there's been some rough patches, but um, no regrets. <laughs>